All right, here's another video review. This is for Fans Toys Outrider, their version of a masterpiece, Trailbreaker. And I don't know if it's because Takara Tomy's releasing a Trailbreaker or it's just one of those characters that they don't have the full rights to, but the box is sort of like a Fans Toys box in that it's black and pretty efficient, but it doesn't have any FT nomenclature. You can barely make out a hollow or a, a hollow outline of the figure in robot mode on the front and then a little bit of him in outline of him in vehicle mode there's a description for tesla who i think is fans toys perceptor and the bio card inside has a description of fans toys rig their huffer so for one reason or another they don't have the true um, box that Fans Toys is usually producing with their figures. So if that's a big deal to you, that's going to be a you know an issue with this figure. But the figure itself is really nice. I'm actually really happy. Trailbreaker was never a character that I was planning to get, but I mean I absolutely love this face sculpt. I love the blue visor. He comes with some alternative faces. I love the chrome missile launcher and shoulder cannon there nice semi-translucent windshield i put a metallic water slide decal on there which i think looks good he's painted really nicely as all fans toys typically are and yeah he's he's gray he's a solid big bot um he's very clean from all angles and looking at pictures of the Takara Tomy that's going to come out, I think they might have it a little more cartoon accurate. They have kind of a more of a blue-gray color and maybe a little more curvilinear. But to me, this is close enough cartoon accurate. And I mean, look at that. It's just so clean in the back. You don't even have any screw holes. I really like that Fans Toys tends to hide those on the inner sides of the legs. So even from the back, you don't have a whole lot of parts and kibbly bits so it looks really good from the side he comes with his he does have an alternative left hand that you can replace this gun with i don't remember if he typically had this in the show but i'm going to leave it for now comes with his other gun and yeah that's uh trailbreaker he's really he is one of the bigger autobots from the early seasons and just has a really nice nice look to him. Doesn't really have scream the shelf presence as some of the other bots just because of his coloration. You know, it's just it's gray. But he feels great in hand and you know, really nice, nice figure. So that, show you a little bit of his articulation. So one thing I noticed out of the box, this his head was kind of disconnected from the top of the torso and i found if you if you get this back tab pushed in then the head stays in pretty well so now it's pretty secure he's got a little bit of an up motion not a whole lot tiny bit of down his head can can turn all the way around this gun is articulated you can move up down this has articulation back frontward. The arms can go out about that far. They can turn around on kind of a soft ratchet. The elbow has a single joint to get you a little more than 90 degrees, which is nice there. I don't think there's a butterfly joint, at least that I saw. He has a waist rotation, which is nice. And he's got a, if you disconnect from the back here, he's got a insane uh, ab crunch. Not a huge fan when you have to disconnect the figure to engage the ab crunch, but still there, which is good. I really like the hip skirts. They're built into the, the joint, so you don't have to you know, lift up a hip skirt to get his leg out of the way. And then he's got a pretty 
interesting sounding knee ratchet, but pretty good. And then same thing out to the side. You don't have to lift any hip skirt, which is cool. Some people said the knee joint they felt like is a little low on the leg. I think it's about normal for what these figures. I think the knee joints are always a little too low. I like the lower leg to be a little taller, but articulation wise and, and the feel in hand, he's got, he's got nice weight. He doesn't flop around. He's, he's really good. I'm excited to transform him. He's got a really nice looking grill up there. So I think the truck mode is going to be great. Probably has the rubber, rubber tires like the other fans toys car bots. So yeah, really, really excited for this figure. Um, just gonna show them off with a couple, couple bots so you can get a, a size comparison here. First off, here he is with, I feel like, I think he goes well with Masterpiece Ironhide. So are both, you know, two of the bigger Autobots and I think Trailbreaker is a little bigger than Ironhide, which I think is what I imagined from the cartoon, but, but they look nice together. And here he is with Masterpiece Hound. Again, that's the official Takartomi version. So I think, I think that looks good. I really like the fans toys have, have really gone pretty good at the, or gotten really good at the cartoon accuracy. Like I said earlier, it's good enough cartoon accuracy for me. I like having that that good feel in hand, tight joints, willing to sacrifice a little bit of the curvilinearness that Takara brings to their figures. So here he is with MP52 plus Skywarp. And I think that works. They're about the same, about the same size. I think Skywarp a little taller when you include the shoulder bits, but Trailbreaker's head is taller. So that works. Here he is with Fans Toys Rogue or Rouge. I always like to show her because her size is unique. I don't really have another figure that's her size, but I think it, I think she fits in well with, with the others. And here he is with Fans Toys Rig. Absolutely love Fans Toys Rig, but this Outrider, Trailbreaker, he looks really kind of impressive next to some of these bots. And here he's with MP44 Optimus Prime. So still smaller than Optimus Prime, which is good, but pretty tall. I really like the way those two look together. And just a couple other fans toys bots, or here's Robot Paradise Acoustic Wave. I think that he's turning into one of my favorite figures and I think he looks really good with, with everyone, but with Trailbreaker. I think that's a good size too. Trailbreaker, pretty, pretty close to Soundwave's height, but I think he should be smaller. And then I got, I have Fans Toys Quietus to show him because I think he's one of the tallest Fans Toys figures that I own. So he makes Trailbreaker look a little smaller. Check out that. His, his chest is always so reflective, I can't get the light out of Quietus's chest. But there's. Trailbreaker with him. So yeah, really nice figure. I think I wasn't sure if I was going to hold on to this guy 
but I'm, I'm, I'm selling myself on him very quickly because again, I love, I really like the detail in the face. And like I said, he just clean all around, looks great in robot mode. I think he's gonna look great in truck mode. He's got a, you know, he's, he's a big Autobot, so he's got some presence. And even though his color is a little bland in general, just cause he's all gray, I think he, he's gonna fit in nicely, so. Thanks again for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for commenting, thanks for liking these videos. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you at the next video review. Thank you.